song about Hanuman. Does anyone know Hanuman? Okay, Hanuman is the monkey god from Hindu mythology in India, and he is an embodiment of devotional service. So I'm going to sing this song because it's very special to me, and it can be a lesson too. And one of the cool things about Hanuman, um, I could tell you tons of stories about Hanuman and teach a whole bunch of yoga about it too, but um, one of the important things about Hanuman is that he's got all this power, right? He's super strong, but he never remembers any of it. Um, can anyone guess what would make Hanuman powerful? Love, love right. Love is love of something, love of someone else. Hanuman is only powerful if he is a servant. It's kind of an interesting boon. So anyway, here goes the song. Uh, does someone want to play drums? Does anyone play drums? Just like something simple, like a heartbeat rhythm, like. All right, ready? Shri Guru Charana Saroja Nija Nija Manu Mukuru Sudari Varanan Ragu Bara Bima Lajasu Jodayaku fala chari Budihina tanu janike Sumaran pawana kumara Bala budi vidya de omohim Hara uki le shabikara Jaya Hanumana Gaya Guna Sagar Jaya Kapisha Tihon Loka Ujagar Rama Duta Tulita Baladama Anjani Putra Pawana Sutta Nama Mahabira Bikrama Bajarangi Kumati niwara sumati ke sangi Kanchana barana viraja subesa Kanana kundana kunchita kesa Hatta vajra ora dwaja virajai Kande munja jane osajai Shankara suane kesari nandana Teja Pratapa Mahajaga Bandana Bijawani Guni Ati Chatura Ramakaja Kari Beko Atur Prabhu Churitra Sunu Beko Rasiya Ramalakana Sita Mana Basiya Sukshma Rupa Dari Siya Indekawa Vikata Rupa Dari Lanka Jarawa Bhima Rupa Dari Asara Sangari Rama Chandra Ke Kaja Sanvari Laya Nasa Jivan Lakanaya Jiya Shri Ragu Bira Harashi Ura Laya Ragu Pati Kinu Bahatu Barai to my mama priya bharati sama bahai sahasa badana to maro jasagawai asika hi shri panti kanta lagawai shana kadika brahmadi munisa narada sarada sahita kisa yama kubera deja pala jahante Kabi ko bera kahi sake kahante Tuma upakara sugriva nakina Rama milaya raja padadina Tuma ro mantra vibhishana mana Lankeshwara vai sabha jagajana Yuga sahasra dyo jana parabhanu Liliyo tahi madura fala janu 
Prabhu Mujrika Meli Muka Mahim Jaladi Langi Acharajanahi Durga Makajikati Kejeti Sunga Manu Graha Tumre Teti Rama Dulare Tuma Waka Ware Hotana Agya Binu Pesare Sabe Sake Tumare Jarana Tumaraka Shaka Kahoko Kodarana Ahapana Teja Sumaro Apai Tina Loka Hanka Ten Kampai Buddha Pisacha Nikatina Hinawe Mahabira Jamanama Sunawe Nase Roga Hare Sabapira Japatani Ran Tara Hanumata Bira Shankata Tain Hanumara Jurawai Mana Krama Bachana Jaya Jolawai Sama Para Rapma Tapa Wasi Raja Tina K. Kaja Sakala Tuma Saja Ora Mona Rota Joko Ilawai Soya Mita Jiwana Fala Pawai Charana Juga Para Tapa Tumara He Parsida Jai Gati Ujiara Sadu Sante K. Tuma Rakaware Asara Nikandana Rama Delari Ashta Siddhi Nau Nidhi K. Dat Asabara Dina Janaki Mata Rama Rasayana Tumare Pasa Sada Raho Ragu Pati Ke Dasa Tumare Bajana Rama Ko Pawai Janama Janama Ke Dukkha Visarawai Anta Kala Ragu Bara Pura Jai Jahan Janama Hari Bhakta Kahai Ora Deva Ta Chitta Nadarai Hanumata Se Suva Sukha Karai Shankata Kati Mite Sabapira Jo Sumare Hanumata Balabira Jai 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 Hanumango Sahim Kripa Kurahu Guru Deva Kinain Jo Sata Pari Pati Kari Koi Chuta hi bandi maha suka hoi Joya ya pari hanumana chalisa Hoya sedi saki gorisa Tula si dasa sada hari chira Kije natari deha mahandira Pawana tenaya shankata harana Mangala murati rupa Rama Lakana Sita Sahita Hridaya Basaha Sura Bhupa So hopefully that gave you guys time to vote for those other guys and girls because they're awesome. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Jonathan. Thanks. That was Reminded me of last weekend uh, at City Hall with the Ananda Mela Festival, the Indian Cultural Festival. The Hare Krishna were over there singing and dancing, and uh, incredible musicians were playing last weekend over at City Hall. Incredible local musicians as the world comes to Redmond. Up next is. Oh, let me see. David Roberts. Can we get two vocal mics? Yeah. On deck after David Roberts, Roberts is Dylan Warren. Yeah. yeah. After Dylan is Joshua Sosimo. And then after Joshua is Becca. And then Pete Crow. And then Zach. 
there another outlet? Uh, I think maybe a little closer? Hi. I feel like I'm right in between where I should be sitting, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a song called uh, Sticks and Stones by a guy named Dave Barn. Um, it translates to my life over the last years um, and has helped shape me into, I think, who I am now. So I hope you like it. Uh, can I have my water, please? Sorry. Sometimes your words are thick as lead. You swing them strong upside my head. And what hasn't killed has made me strong. I'll take my scars and move uh, along. I'd rather have sticks and stones and broken bones than the words you say. Yeah. 
Cause I know that bruises, they heal. The cuts, they'll seal. But your words feed the life in me. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to call up a friend of mine, and she's going to actually sing a song for you as well, and then we're going to do one together. So Malia, come on up here and play. Give her a round of applause. She's really good. Time I turn around.
right, now we're gonna do a song together, and it's called Falling Slowly. It's from Once, if you've seen that. Glenn Hansard, Marquette Zaragoza. <laughs> check, check. that never amount to more than they're worth will play themselves out Take their sinking boat and point it home We've still got time suffered enough and award with yourself it's time that you
Malia? That, that was Malia? Not that anyone was asking what her name was to vote for her or yeah, anything. So if that, if that blew you guys away as well, you want to vote for them, the basket's the basket. And, and, and this, just as a public service announcement, I've noticed the basket is kind of empty for all the talent we've been seeing here tonight. So just as a public service announcement, we would like to remind you to vote and vote and vote for the people that get on stage and sing for you tonight. Um, uh, speaking of political, let's bring up Emily Rose next. Emily, you, you still out there? Yeah, come on up. Hey, so this is Chemicals React by Ali and AJ. It's kind of old and it's one of my favorite songs. It's a little tween. I recently rediscovered it and I was like, oh my god, I love this song. So excited to play it. <laughs> feel out of my element like I'm walking on broken glass like my world spinning in slow motion and you're moving too fast were you right was I wrong were you weak was I strong both of us broken caught in the moment we lived and we loved and we hurt but we joked I'm drifting out to the sea Like the tides pulling me in deeper Making it harder to breathe We cannot deny how we feel inside We cannot deny Were you right? Was I wrong? Were you weak? Was I strong? Both of us broken Caught in the moment We lived and we loved and we hurt Scope of colors turning hopes on fire, sun is burning, shining down on both of us. Don't let us lose it, don't let us lose it. Were you right? Was I wrong? Were you equal? Was I strong? Both of us broken, caught in the moment. We lived and we loved and we hurt, but we joked. Hey. And the planet's so Like that, the chemicals react. The chemicals 
and you looked into my eyes and it just like that watch the color codes react and just like that the color codes react the color codes react two songs tonight but the next one is Turning Tables by Adele. It's one of my recent favorites. start a war all that I have is on the floor God only knows what we're fighting for all that I say you always say more I can't keep up with your turning tables under your thumb I can't breathe so I won't let you close enough to hurt me no I won't ask you you to just desert me I can't give you Turning tables under haunted skies, I see you. Oh, well, I just lost your ghost, just found you. I braved a hundred storms to leave you. As hard as you try, no, I will never be knocked down. I can't keep up with your turning tables under your thumb. I can't breathe. So I won't let you close enough to hurt me. No, I won't ask you, you to just desert me, I can't give you what you think you gave me, it's time to say goodbye to turning tables, to turning tables. Next time I'll be braver, I'll be my own savior. When the thunder goes for me, yeah. Next time I'll be braver, I'll be my own savior. Standing on my own to be here. So I won't let enough to hurt me. No, I won't ask you. You to just desert me. I can't give you what you think you gave me. It's time to say goodbye. The turning table. Turning tables, turning 
table yeah turning 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 oh, oh. thank you As we bring up this next performer, listening to the song from the movie Once, written by Glenn Hansard, is a uh, incredible movie, an incredible song. You guys did it so well. This next performer uh, was playing out his songs, I think it was at the Owl and Thistle, and uh, on Thanksgiving. You can tell a hardcore musician when they're playing a gig on Thanksgiving. Uh, and and in walks uh, Glenn Hansard in the frames, uh, c coming into town to play a show at the show box. And, and who's out having a pint of Guinness but Glenn Hansard in the band? They see Dylan playing, realize the dedication it takes to be playing on Thanksgiving, and invites them, Dylan to come back a couple nights later to play with the frames at the show box. You just never know who's going to hear the song that you are stepping out to play. So just keep that in your mind. And as you do, please welcome to our stage the ver our very own Mr. Dylan Warnick. Yeah. Give me a second to tune. some new songs I'm gonna play this first one so I don't fall over this first song is a new song I wrote Trace of my smile, babe. Your lines in my palm. Late night wandering, lost. You're the light left on. You're my endless journey. You're the shore I settled upon. And I hope that you hear But I ain't gonna make you read my mind I'm gonna say it loud and clear You're the only one for me Resting peaceful and waking up to a dream.
guess I understand. I promise you, darling, I'm going to show you I can. I was a boy that fell in love, now it's time to turn into a man. There's no silent expectation. There's no hoops to jump through. The sky is clear, my love. No need to paint it blue. And I would tell anyone, but I want to say it to you. You're the only one for me. Oh, and love you is easy. It's like resting peaceful and waking up to a dream. I'm just resting peaceful and waking up to a dream. Yeah, I'm just resting peaceful and waking up to a dream. Thanks. So I got another new one. Many of you may not have heard. It's the uh, newest one I've written. But uh, if there's something somebody really wants to hear, I could play that. But this, I got a, I got a fairly brand new song. Um, I got CDs for sale, which uh, all the sales of m my last CD go to the uh, the recording of my new CD, which takes place later this month, and hoping to have it out by October. Um, so if anybody likes the music they hear, they can come buy a CD. Um, and I'll have a new album out, and that last song will be on it, and so will this one. Shake out that note. Hey there, Andy. Your sister pinned a rose on me. And I'm looking at your pawn shop list, wondering what I'll get for it. Thousand days upon my path, thousand nights at my back. And all I have is what you see. I gladly lay it at your feet. The rooted talk of rails, the innocent speak of jail. But nothing's as it appears, it's what everybody whispers here. A fool doesn't make it go, the truth doesn't make it told. Well, hey there, Annie, don't look too close at me, I can't explain shapes I take up. It's an ever-changing, endless wanton. Pour deeply in cups of nothing. Hey, Annie, 
I got worry wrapped around me. I'm looking at your flowing hair, wishing I was woven there. Weariness upon my path, thousand troubles at my back. But I would trade an endless sleep for sang a lullaby to me. Fortune tellers reading wrong, Harlequin future pawns. Beside heavy stone they sit, whereupon nothing's writ. And all they can do is guess and hope it manifests. But I know any, you can tell us how it'll be. everybody come say hi three oh. oh you I'm so honored I'll play I'll play uh, it's three songs tonight oh all right what do you guys want to hear anything Mountains? From the mountains? Yeah. Hear that? Is, there a, is there a capo? That here is the neighbors. The neighbors. Medley. And the neighbors were coming the dust. That sounded. All right, I'll play new songs. This, well, this one is new. This song's old already. Man, I don't know. <laughs> My, uh, I had a couple friends who've had kids, and I got bored for about three months into it. <laughs> That's not true. It's not true at all. I don't hate babies. <laughs> I have to justify that way too much. I, I have to stick up for myself way too much about that. I don't hate babies. All right, this song's going to be on that record, too. I have CDs for sale. My name's Dylan Warnick. I'll be playing here August 26th as a part of Artists Against Slavery. Um, and so you should come on out to that and support. It'll be it'll be a really great show. And I'll probably soon be putting together a benefit to uh, for babies. <laughs> Prove <laughs> just to an added I don't hate them.
scented flowers in her hair. Her beauty cracked and broken, but her smile fair. She addressed me as child, said, what is it that you need? Said, all I ask for is a rose, and she handed me a seed. Said, there is no hurry, my young friend, remember all seeking trails of Surely must end, and from the mountain comes the dust, from the rain comes the rust, and for every baby born there's a ghost looking on, and from the mountain comes the dust. I heard a man playing guitar singing songs about loss with a hammer hidden in every line he delivered them so delicate and soft and I just stood there hypnotized transfixed by sound and all around me people passed by but I was nailed to the ground and on my face he saw a question but how he did I don't know but he sang the answer loudest Not about what you have But what you let go And from the mountain comes the dust And from the rain comes the rust For every baby born there's a ghost to mourn and from the mountain comes the As I continued on, everything as it was appeared. The stars were just busted glass, and the moon a dirty mirror. And I saw myself reflected. Saw the movement of it all. I saw a young boy made to run. I saw a man made to crawl. I saw the war medals of my grandfather. I saw my mother's dinner plate. Saw my sister's child's clean hands, and I saw my brother's face. And I saw the road before me, and I saw what I'd left behind. Oh, I saw the seas of infinity. And I saw that river of time And from the mountain come
Thanks. Come we'll say hi. We got CDs. Joshua saw some saw Shimon to the stage. Joshua, are you out? Are you out there? Excellent. Too much time has happened between the last open mic and this. We can't wait for your performance tonight. I don't. I don't even know if it's going to be a, a. Are there any pyrotechnics involved? Are there any? Uh, no. Just stand back a little bit. Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome back Joshua. Thank you, Clint, as always. Man. No pressure. No pressure, no. Okay, um, morning, everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, uh, if I may... Uh, throw modesty out the window for just a brief moment. I do it once or twice a year, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I do have a, a slight ego-caressing announcement to make. Um, I just found out about a week ago that I have finally written 400 poems. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that was kind of my reaction when I found out too. Um, uh, you know, and yeah, until a friend of mine pointed out later on that, hey, that's a hell of a lot of poems, you know, and I was like, really? Oh, okay. So, um, anyway, yeah, so, so thanks. And, um, um, so I've got two poems and a song for you guys tonight, um, same as usual, you know, and, um, and, uh, so these two poems I actually wrote this past month, and, um, so no old stuff today, um, but um, the first, the, the second one that I wrote, you know, I wrote them back to back, and the second run, second one I'm going to read first, actually, and, um, yeah, you know, no, no particular reason, but uh, it's a little shorter, maybe that has something to do with it, and um <coughs> so uh, this, this first one that I'm going to read, uh, it's uh, something that, uh, well, well, um, I wrote it after finishing reading a book called The Sheltering Sky, um, which was written by a guy named Paul Bowles. came out, it was a bestseller back in 1950, and, um, and uh, you, you know, I, I wrote it, I read it because uh, 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 Sting, anyone heard of a guy named Sting? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Someone's heard of him. Good. So he's this musician guy that, uh, uh, you know, came out with some stuff a long time ago. And, um, and uh, 
So uh, he wrote he he read that book and liked it, and I thought, okay, cool, I'll read that book too because hey, Sting read it, why not? So, so and afterwards he wrote a song called uh, "Tea in the Sahara," and uh, I like that song, so I thought it's got to be a damn good book, right? So okay, I read I read the book, and afterwards I wrote this. So okay, here we go. <coughs> I have wept upon your grave, upon new sands we've never seen. You'd wonder what we might have been if you'd lived how I might behave. The natural condition of life, those brief discussions gave you purpose. You ran far to escape the surface. I followed because I was your wife. We bicycled up the many hills, accelerating along the curves. And once we could both work up the nerve, we sat under the moon, calm yet thrilled. You once told me in the buzz of the pounding drums the tears should be the only unit of exchange. Yet we simply lived together so long estranged. Only tears can now make up my entire sum. You tried as the bus carried us through that broad vacuum to pierce the fine fabric of the, of the sheltering sky. As you fell ill, I continually denied what might be as we fought against that damned room. In that point of darkness and gateway to repose, I realized in my, he in my heavy lull, whenever we could still be joyful, we'd hang on instead of letting go. In our endless search for your personal wadi, you became deathly ill in a matter of days, and I only learned after you had passed away that the soul is the weariest part of the body. After dawn, when I opened my eyes, I was still here under the crumpled tree I'd discovered when I swore I would never be hysterical again. I would spend the rest of my life fighting my fears. I lost myself to the desert and the sky above so that in the sands I could begin to learn one day that life could have been worth living if we lived long enough. My mind went on strengthening the thin partition of the bright light that invades us as we rise of being wide awake and warm as one dies, a slow death brought on by attrition. Once they'd found me, I was, I was gone in my sour stupor. The variations of silence couldn't connect me to the strength or motive I'd need to collect the ability to respond to their concerns. Though my old fears left no forwarding address, the resignation in my vaporous ideas would not allow me to consider or discuss the shattered dark dreams swallowed by emptiness. I left the cab and walked on to reclaim what was mine, and though I still felt only half awake in the harsh sound of scraping tires and failing brakes, I'd finally arrived at the end of the line. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, this next one, which has nothing to do with the last one at all. This uh, is uh, one of my Satriani poems, and um, and uh, has nothing to do with the has not much to to do with the uh, title of the song that. Uh, Satriani himself wrote many years ago. Okay, so um, uh, my mind took a left turn and came up with this. <coughs> Once upon a time when I was really young, a friend of mine told me under the summer sun, if I kept befriending ladies the way I did, Someone someday would simply remove my head. I coldly stared at him with great discipline until my mouth betrayed me with the maddest grin. 
Then I giggled, which soon became a guffaw, for I only saw humor in what he foresaw. I went about my business, like I've always done, making girlfriends and having plenty of fun. Satisfied, th satisfied I was with my power to please and to make all ladies moan, squeal, wail, and wheeze. <laughs> One morn while I was out by the hotel pool, every man was distracted and started to drool at the entrance of the most radiant thing walking round covered in little more than string. As reality truly reduced itself to her, I couldn't help but value the curvature she possessed, the perfection of a Greek goddess, a treasure which I'd be blessed to ever access. But seeing how I was a professional, I chose to use a method most alchemical, for I refused to allow this lovely bijou to intimidate me with her carnal virtues. Sitting across from her, I felt the stimulus as I placed my drink on the table between us, and, uh, and we ignored each other as we sat close by, never once making contact from eye to eye. After a while, I dove into the swimming pool, all the while displaying assets from my gene pool. Aware that I was watched by every female present, I showed myself to be well within my element. After my lapse, <coughs> I slowly rose from the pool, knowing the whole time that I looked totally cool. I dried myself off right in front of my chair, allowing the sun to show off my perfect hair. If the gasps and sighs which my fans did emanate was more than one could justifiably advocate, then what came next was reasonably unreal and more than one could be fixed and more than could be fixed by good chamomile. I casually glanced at my intended mark, which quickened my pulse more than I will impart. There she sat, sipping slowly from my cold drink while watching me and making my mental gears shrink. Yet I grinned and raised my brow like Casanova at this heroine of Floridian opera. I said I, s I said I hoped the drink was up to her standards, then sat and waited for her response to my words. After removing her lips from my straw, she said, it was almost the finest thing she'd been fed. In her tone and expression, there was something I read that suggested imagery better left unsaid. We introduced ourselves and spoke for a while, exchanging jabs and moves through phrases and smiles. As I said, she was a player most versatile, and I knew she would certainly test my guile. Soon, soon came dinner time, and we finally went inside. Appropriate finesse would need to be applied. At the restaurant, we shared drinks and slowly dined. An uh, opportunity for me to unlock her mind. So she shared with me her hopes, pains, dreams, and fears, all of which I listened to with half an ear. And I spun my most masterfully, one my most masterfully crafted tale of how mom died in an accident at Chippendales. Sorry. After a scrumptious dessert, we went for a walk, during which I won her over with my charmed talk, a skill with which I considerably excelled. By a sunset, we ended up back at the hotel. She took me directly to her own private suite, and I felt my victory was nearly complete. I tended to the fireplace while she fixed nightcaps, now it was vital to avoid any mishaps. We settled on the couch in front of the fire, and as I looked at her, she heightened my desire, for her eyes contained a very rare type of light, 
yet that brought the sun into the darkness of the night. As she leaned in to rest her head on my shoulder, I hesitated, no longer feeling cocksure, since she appeared to be so impossibly pure that yet, she <laughs> yet we sat and drank and whispered to each other. When the drinks were gone, she asked me to take her to bed. In that moment, I had a strange feeling of dread, which I ignored, unable to believe my luck, because now it was obviously time to hug. <laughs> Soon followed by much sweating and gnashing of teeth, for we'd plunged into events that made it hard to breathe, from the ramrod rumba to the wild monkey dance, from the shish kebab salsa to the prenatal prance. <laughs> we increased speed with each new sequence of movements, leading to a most bodacious experience. Though it was clear we each possessed the greatest skill, after a few hours we had both had our fill. And as she and as she fell into an unforgettable repose, I still couldn't believe you could do something like that with a hose. Although I wished to savor this one achievement, my eyes fought for rest, and I lost the argument. With the morning came the death of that lifestyle, which meant I would no longer be so versatile. <coughs> After my eyes opened, I felt something was different. Wh while I tried to scratch something for which I'd received many compliments, but my hand never reached its destination, I noticed that my wrist felt a tense sensation, and I discovered my limbs were tied to the bed then returned that amplified feeling of dread. Then I saw them, in fact, eight of them, by the door, and I had a feeling I'd seen them all before. But when I saw they were led by, the last, ni by last night's girl, I got a bad feeling about who they really were. Turned out these ladies really were my ex-girlfriends, none too happy at how our relationships ended. So last night's girl began approaching me slowly, a sharp thing in her hand that would spell my cat catastrophe. As she closed the distance, I got a closer view at what she held in her hand, a six-inch long ginsu, which to me at the time seemed more like a machete. My breath hitched as she pointed it right at me. Near panic, I put all of my I had into my entreaty, but the girl's vicious smiles clued me into my destiny. As I appealed one last time to their feminine virtue, I swore I would never revisit Malibu. As my attempts to free myself were proving quite useless and using nothing but the most graceful finesse, Last night's girl took the blade and removed my precious head, and into the renewed fireplace it was quickly, l quickly fed. So as soon as the re operation had begun, my most impressive length was now down by one, and of course all the high-pitched squealing in my pleas could not repair the damage to my masterpiece. The next day, I discovered my to my I discovered my horrid ordeal had unfortunately been totally real, but the guys in the hospital managed to seal that wound, the ghost of which I would always feel. After ha after having se seen part of myself barbecued, I decided that the tropics and I were through, so I returned to my hometown of Maltby to see what my future was going to be. I wasted no time at all once I returned home, from which I decided to no longer roam. 
but my brand new chastity belt had 15 locks, so I could be sure no woman would ever touch my <coughs> rocks. Between my newfound fears of women and sharp things, and the recent defacement of my oldest plaything, I soon I soon found I needed to get away from it all and to forget the details of my recent downfall. And in a nutshell, that's not worth going into. I flew to Scotland, where I met this old monk dude, who used who used to sell pot and then and teach people kung fu. Then he convinced me to come here and try a new view. So tell me, my son, has my unique confession answered your most understandable question? I hope it has sated your curiosity about why I chose to join a monastery. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot about the song, <coughs> which hopefully makes up for uh, that one. Okay, <coughs> so I'm going to sing for you guys a song uh, by a band you may have heard to uh, called U2. And uh, this is a song that uh, came from their album uh, called um, All That You Can't Leave Behind. And uh, I like this one because it's... Uh, it's nice. So uh, <coughs> this is called Grace. <coughs> Grace, she takes the blame. She covers the shame, removes the stain. It could be her name, Grace. It's a name for a girl, it's also a thought that changed the world. And when she walks on the street, you can hear the strings. Grace finds goodness in everything. Grace, she's got the walk, not on a wrapper on chalk. She's got the time to talk. She travels outside of karma, karma. She travels outside of karma. When she goes to work, you can hear the strings, cause grace finds beauty in everything. Grace, she carries a world on her hips, no champagne flutes for her lips. No twirls or skips between her fingertips. She carries a pearl in perfect condition. What once was hers, what once was friction. What left a mark no longer stains because grace makes beauty out of ugly things. Grace finds beauty in everything. 
Grace finds goodness in everything. Thank you. Come on up. Tonight I have two original songs for you. Um, this first one is called A Thousand. Simply see if I could steal you. Maybe could we be? Could we be simple? We would fight in the morning and be fine by noon. Count the stars in the sky and maybe wish on a few. And we couldn't swim in the deep end. We couldn't run that far. Follow our shadow to the next block and kiss in the backseat of the car. We were one and two. We were a thousand. But every good thing must die. We knew it back then. Promise we wouldn't cry, and yet it happened. And I can't remember yesterdays, and tomorrows are too far. Either lost in the sand or washed on the shore. And we're just paper peeling off the wall. We can't seem to stick right, saying we have to go home now kiss you good night and i can't ever hold on i have to let go run away as far as i can before you can get close we were everything we were boundless we were so in love when it was easy. I was all you wanted when you missed me. We were one and two. We were a thousand. This next song is called My Forever Maybe.
Looking through those days, can't find the answer. Do you have me? Or do you have me now? I always thought that I knew what I wanted to do. I always thought if there's someone for me, it's you. Now I'm left here with my life up in the Forever, maybe. Tell me somehow you won't always be my forever, maybe. My forever, maybe. Been raining so hard, I feel like I'm drowning. Got myself lost, and I'm not sure I want you to find me. You and I've been up and down this roller coaster ride, and I'm not sure if we're ever getting off. I needed you, loved you, wanted you. and so do you believe with me can you use me so easily to be me i always thought that i knew what i wanted to do i always thought if there's someone for me it's you now i'm left here with my life up in the Up next is Chris Will, followed by Zach Terrell, and then last is Bill Radford.
Hello. 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 Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. I'm really just happy to be here. One of the things that I've done lately, as I always tell you, my story. Well, my story is an awfully exciting story because that's what I've chosen. And I am responsible for my story. My story is my creation. So if you look at that blackboard outside, outside this place, one side has a chalkboard on it and the other side is a dry erase board. I have one of those in front of my house. And as I look at all these people online posting things, positive inspirations, it's really, really easy to do it with our words. And it's really, really easy to do it with people that we can't look into their eyes. So what I've chosen to do is put one of those in front of my house and on my board this week. Everybody heard of the pay it forward kind of idea? Well, I kind of switched that because I'm a little bit strange. And once you make it your own, you become. So I switched it to love it forward. So each and every one of you, I love you. How's that? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's all about love. but it's my game. Maybe out there, maybe on your own, searching for a place to hold you call your home. Maybe near, yet so far, in your heart, you are a shining star to be here, to be clear, to be near, finding your way home, to see you, to touch you. I do oh is what is it ah can you read it it's love baby <laughs> Oh. 